Hello, this is Tom Campbell. Uh, we had some interesting things happening uh, as far as the experiments go. So I wanted to take an opportunity to tell you a little bit about them. Uh, maybe I should have waited a, for a week or two until we know more, but I want to share it just as it happens. So we have had in the last uh, month, some people come forward who were willing to uh, donate money to get these uh, experiments completed, a substantial amount of money. And we have been looking then how we can speed this process up. As you recall, you know, from our Kickstarter, we had about 230,000, but a pretty good chunk of that has uh, gone to rewards and the rewards process. I'm being very conservative with what's left. We are working with Farbad at Cal Poly, as you all know. That work has been going slowly because it turns out there's a very steep learning curve about setting up this experiment. It's simple theory, but getting the lab to actually uh, do what we wanted to do has uh, a pretty steep learning curve. I guess that's just the way to say it. So we are slogging our way through it a little bit, a little bit. We, we learn as we go, things don't work, then we figure out why. So we do the next step and then things don't work and we figure out why and so on. Um, so we're, we're getting there and uh, I'm just, going to keep that one track going that way, even though it's going to be slow, because Cal Poly has been very generous in working with us. Cal Poly has actually gone out and bought some of the equipment that we need, and, and uh, they've been very cooperative. So it is a slow path, but it's chugging along and making progress, you know, weekly. But now we've had this, this infusion of capital into the situation. So we've begun to try to speed the process up. We've gone out to some people who are very knowledgeable. They have a lot of experience already. The learning curve for them is already in the past, not uh, in their present and future like it is for us. So we're looking for some consultants and we found one. We've got one at work and they have already as of this week started working. So we're able to now pay them to something that's significant enough to make them find some time for us in their busy schedules. But if we did not have this extra money, then we just don't have enough money to induce them to find time in their busy schedules, but they find more time more easily if they're being paid well. So we are going to have some, we have one consultant online who's already working with us. Uh, we're talking to another we have a university that we're in the beginning stages of uh, coming up with a contract for them to actually do the work. And the good news there is that's a whole team of people. And if they do the work and they already have overcome that learning curve, they tell us now in just the initial meetings we're having with them that within about six months, they'll have answers to at least the first of our you know, of our experiments, the first, the easiest experiment, they will be able to put that together in about six months is their timeline. So then that's exciting. And then we will uh, see if we can't induce them to take the next step and do the next experiment. Um, I can't tell you much about that university other than it is a major university. Uh, it uh, has good people and uh, they're very capable for doing the work, but they do not want to be associated with consciousness. So the contract that they're going to write with us is that we don't mention that association. So I can't tell you their name because then that associates them with me and we've already going to chase them away. So that's going to just have to be a mystery location, but I assure you it's a major university, well-credentialed, and they will do excellent work. It just, we can't talk about it until after it's done. Now, once it gets published, then anybody can talk about it because anybody can look at a published document and talk about it. So that's the way we're going to have to work this particular line. Like I say, that's just being negotiated now. It's not a final thing. 
And we have some other people we're going to reach out to and see if we can't maybe get yet a third team working on some of these experiments. And maybe they would start working on not just doing experiment one, but you know, getting set up to do the other experiments as well. So if these two sources of money, so far the money has not actually you know, ended up in QSEC's uh, bank account. It's just been, we've just talked about it. So I think that'll probably work out. The people involved were very serious and, and they uh, you know, had, the, had the funds to, to, uh, to give to this and were interested in it. So I think that's all going to work out. I, I don't think it's going to, to fizzle, but I just wanted to let you know that it's all right now uh, uh, being done as you speak. No money's changed hands yet. Uh, our consultant has not been paid yet. He's just starting to work. So a lot of things starting to speed up here in the experiment business, which I'm just excited enough to tell you, you know, that the things are going to pick up because we actually have some fundings in which we can speed this process up. So it does take a, uh, a lot of funding to do this. You know, the, the amount that uh, I've asked for from the one donor is more than double what we got all together from the Kickstarter program. And it's good because it's, it's expensive. These are very highly skilled people and there's not that many of them alive in the world. There's not that many people who, who already have done these kinds of experiments. Lots of people's done the theory, probably tens of thousands of people can talk about the theory, but there's not that many can actually build the experiment and make it work. So uh, they're expensive and universities are expensive. So anyway, I think we're now are going to have the resources to get this done. And uh, within the next six months, the next year, we ought to definitely be having products come out. Now, I hope I don't have another meeting like this in another month from now telling you, oh, no, everything fell apart. But uh, I don't think so. I think it's, uh, I feel secure enough and, and good enough about it that I'm willing to come up and make a statement uh, even a little bit early, uh, just to let you know that uh, we are going to be speeding up our, uh, our process of getting the experiments done. 